It was one week ago tonight that USC fell in Corvallis to Oregon State. Saturday in Los Angeles, they'll play the state's best team. That's the number 23 ranked Oregon Ducks. Ryan Abraham is the publisher of USCFootball.com from the Rivals Network. And Ryan now joins us. So, Ryan, we go from the question, how does USC avoid letdown to how do the Trojans put the pieces back together? Yeah, Paul, you know, the USC didn't fall that far after the loss. But it is time for Pete Carroll to circle the wagons and get this team going. I mean, the reality is USC is only 10-5 and five in their last 15 games in the conference. So if they want to make it to another BCS, chip, you know, BCS, uh, BCS Bowl game, they're going to have to make a good run and start off beating Oregon on Saturday. What is the injury status of All-American linebacker Ray Maluga? And what's with these uh, potential changes on defense I'm hearing about? Yeah, Ray sprained his knee. It, unless there's some miraculous recovery, he's not going to be able to go on Saturday. That has been... You know, led to a real shakeup on the USC defense. So you have Brian Cushing, who's an All-American candidate at strong side linebacker, moving over to the middle. And you have Mike Morgan, a sophomore, making his very first start in this game against Oregon. Also on the defensive line, you have Clay Matthews moving up there. He's taking over for Everson Griffin at that rush defensive end spot. And Averill Spicer, who had a couple of personal foul penalties against Oregon State, he lost his starting job. And Christian Topu is going to be starting there. And six quarterbacks after Dennis Dixon. The uh, preparation for whoever's lining up where on defense has got to be a lot different for this Oregon team than it was last year. It is different. I think the one thing Dennis Dixon brought was he was such an efficient passer. And, yeah, you know, whoever li you, uh, Oregon lines up a quarterback, they're going to be mobile and they're going to get the ball around. I mean, they're one of the best rushing teams in the country, and they have that two-headed monster at running back. So they're going to have a good ground game. The one drop-off at quarterback will be you're not going to have the same kind of efficiency that Dennis Dixon brought to that offense. As for USC's quarterback, Mark Sanchez, he was the starting QB in the loss at Oregon a year ago. How is he a different, a better quarterback right now? I think now Mark Sanchez is a better quarterback just because of his leadership skills. I think over the summer, everyone kind of rallied around Mark. And he's, he's got this great personality, and everyone just loves you know, his energy and his fire on the sidelines. So I, I think when he was the starter last year, he was more a replacement for John David Booty. Now this is Mark Sanchez's team, and he's the leader of these guys. All right, Ryan Abraham, thank you very much. Well, just like a year ago,